Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to texture paint any kind of logo or emblem on any 3D model inside Blender. So let's get started. So first step, just add a new texture, set it to a white color. This will be just for the phase two helmet that I've already made before. And go into edit mode, select everything, press U and smart UV projects. This will unwrap your mesh for texturing. Now go to the texture paint tab and add a base color. On the no textures panel, just add a base color. You can set it to whites. You can change the resolution to as much as you want. I'm going to set it to 4096 by 496. Basically, this will make a, a lot more detail. Uh, it'll make the texture look a lot more high resolution, but it'll also make the file a bit larger. So it's really up to you. If you sacrifice quality for like file size, I'd rather just go with quality. Right, so now go to this panel here where it says texture and press new. Go down this little checker box here. Let's create a new texture. So select the image that you want to add to your object or the emblem that you downloaded online. Basically using a pre-made image and this will save us a lot of time. So go to wherever you downloaded it. I'm going to be using a like some kind of a Republic logo the helmets. So now you want to do what you want to do is go back to your wrench tool here. Turn on stencil. And so now you have this image here. I think it, sh it should start like on the bottom left of your screen. If you want to move it around, just left click and hold. Or right click, I mean, and just move it around wherever you want. Scale it up, hold down shift, right click, drag your mouse upward. If you want to rotate it like this, hold down control and right click and move your mouse in a circle. So I'm going to scale it down and we'll move it right about here in the helmets. So now uh, just make sure that your strength on your brush is set to 100% or 1.0. And go ahead and start painting on, on the logo. I'd recommend turning off symmetry mode. So like on the x-axis, unless you want it to be on both sides. But now just go ahead and left click, drag your mouse, hold it, and just kind of brush on the entire object in a circle. And there we go. Now we have a logo on our objects. It's pretty easy. So when you're done adding your logos, you can go ahead and get rid of the texture. Just click on the X here. And you can turn off this image here. And you can just add whatever color you want to the helmets if you want to. So in one of my previous videos, I kind of showed how to do this. Kind of touched on it. Basically, you can just texture whatever you want on the helmets, any color. And you can use pre-made images online. For any kind of logos that require like more uh, detail that's pretty much it so once you're done with your textures uh, go to save all images so on the left click on this button here and press save all images because basically your texture is just a temporary file until you actually save it manually up here and i'd also recommend going to external data and clicking on this button here, automatically pack resources. That'll basically save all the files that you made, all the textures into this Blender file. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll try to answer them. So this video is pretty simple, uh, pretty quick. The texture painting a logo isn't that hard. All it takes is just a couple of settings, like an image, the stencil tool, and just a little bit of uh, configuration of the image wherever it's placed on your viewport that's pretty much it so uh, i hope y'all guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time